சென்னை மெட்ரோ ரீசெண்ட்லி மேட் அ ஹிஸ்டாரிக் பிரேக் த்ரூ இன் அண்டர் கிரவுண்ட் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் பை ட்ரில்லிங் அண்டர் தி ரிவர் பெட் ஆஃப் அடையார் திஸ் பிரேக் த்ரூ இஸ் பார்ட் ஆஃப் காரிடார் த்ரீ தட் ரன்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் மாதவரம் இன் த நார்த் டு சிப்காட் இன் த சவுத் Boats stations adjoining the river which are the greenways in the north and the Adyar junction in the south have been planned as underground stations. This means that not one but two tunnel boring machines, the Kaveri and the Adyar, will have to drill under the river to create two rail tracks north to south. Now, I'll quickly show you the stretch in reality. From the Greenways road that you see here until the Adyar junction, a total distance of 1.2 km needs to be covered underground. This includes 400 meters of the stretch underneath the Adyar River and the Thiruvika Bridge that is built on it. Let's model this 1.2 km stretch through an animation that you can see here. Here is the Thiruvika bridge that completely sits above the Adyar river. The river bed varies in depth between 3 and 5 meters below the ground. So I'm showing you the deepest part. At two ends would be constructed the Greenway station and the Adyar station respectively. The purple track will be placed approximately 18 meters below the surface. In Feb 2023, the Kaveri TBM was launched at Greenways Road Metro and started tunneling towards the Adyar junction. By now, The Kaveri has tunneled about a distance of 583 meters and has reached the Adyar river bed. It is expected that Kaveri will finish tunneling in 3 months time. The other TBM Adyar has covered 250 meters so far. Like I've always done in my previous episodes, let's stack the Adyar tunneling effort against a historic engineering marvel which is the Thames Tunnel in London. This is a tunnel beneath the river Thames in London connecting Rotherhead and Wapping. It is coincidentally 400 meters long as well and runs at a depth of 23 meters below the river surface. This was built not today not even in the previous century but in 1825 and 1843 originally designed for horse drawn carriages it was mainly used by pedestrians and then became a tourist attraction later in 1869 it was converted into a railway tunnel for use by the east london line and centuries later in 2010 it became a part of the london overground railway network this was built using the tunneling shield method which was newly invented in the 19th century if you enjoyed this episode do like and share further subscribe to my channel mr metras for future episodes thanks for watching see you next time